Okay, now we're going to look at the digestive system. This is part E of your dissection. And what we're going to, I'm just going to go through the parts first, and then we'll start looking at different, how to cut out the different uh, organs to, for you to inspect. This is the diaphragm again, and so right underneath the diaphragm lays the liver. The liver is this large, lobed um, organ here. It has several different parts. Underneath, dorsally, underneath it, there's this little sac. This little sac is the gallbladder. It may be a green color, mine's a little bit red, but um, that's, the, that's the gallbladder. This large sac here is the stomach, and we have the spleen that's on the left side of the, of the stomach. Behind that, there's this real mushy kind of tissue that's the pancreas, and then we have small intestines, a whole bunch of small intestines, and then behind the small intestines, we have the large intestines that will, then all the large intestines that will seek them and all this that goes to the rectum. This is the rectum, okay? Um, so this is the digestive system. We're going to go through the steps. I'm going to show you how to remove the different parts of the digestive system. Um, it tells you to go ahead and detach the, the gallbladder. So you want to just kind of gently pull that out, okay? careful not to puncture it, not to tear it, okay, um, and then you want to, and this is the one that makes bile, you can cut it like that, and then you can measure it, weigh it, all the things that it tells you to do, so that's the gallbladder. Some people have this removed if it's causing pain and problems there. Um, okay, the next thing it tells you to do is to look for um, this is the umbilical cord, the umbilical vein. Remember the one that we uh, we cut earlier in an earlier deal. So now we're going to cut the cut out the liver. Okay, and we're just going to snip some of these some of this connected tissue down here. You want to take it all out at the same time. Make sure you don't separate the different lobes. Separate it here from the. careful not to cut the stomach while you're cutting the liver out. The liver is really, really big. Let's go from the top. Maybe. Okay, this is the esophagus. Esophagus is coming down. Wait a minute, I've lost it. Coming down here like this. Okay, so it's going to go through the go through the um, diaphragm right down here. There we go. So now we have the liver. Almost Okay, so there we go. That's the liver. All of that. So you're going to want to measure it and weigh it, mass it, and record those things in your autopsy report. It also tells you that you're going to um, you're going to see the stomach now. So let's see. We're kind of all twisted around. This is the back. Okay. So this is the we saw this is the um, these are the kidneys. This is the back. So flip it over so you can see these small intestines. So now with the liver gone, this is the diaphragm, the muscle that helps you breathe, and this is the stomach. So now we see the stomach and the spleen. The spleen is this kind of uh, skinny long thing right there, and the stomach is that sac like that right there. And um, Okay, so now we're going to remove the spleen, and you really don't have to cut really anything, you just need to use your forceps to remove that, and just pull on it a little bit until you see that you have some attachments that you need to snip through. So. careful this is this pancreas down here so you don't want to cut the pancreas it doesn't look like much but it is a very important organ does some very important jobs okay so this is the spleen so you're going to want to measure the spleen and mass it weigh it okay you can set it aside when you're done okay 
And then next we want to find the esophagus again. So remember the esophagus was behind the trachea. This is the trachea. And the esophagus is that tube right there behind it. So it's this tube right here. And we want to follow it all the way down to the stomach. So it goes into past the diaphragm right there. And goes into the stomach right there. Okay, so you can kind of see that. Tissue, if we pull some of that connective tissue away where the diaphragm is, you can see where it goes into the stomach right there at the top. So that's the esophagus that goes into the stomach right there. Okay, it goes through the different parts of the stomach. Um, this is the cardiac part, and then it makes like a J sac, and then this is over here is where it goes into the small intestine. Right there is where it connects to the small intestine. Um, so, what we are going to do next So we're going to remove the stomach by cutting the esophagus. On both, uh, on the top end, right above the cardiac sphincter. You can feel right at the top of the stomach right there. There's a little, it's a little bit harder right there. And that's the um, cardiac sphincter. So we're going to cut the esophagus there. Okay, it's just some connective tissue right there behind that. You can kind of snip some of that away. Okay, and then it also tells you that's connective tissue again. And then it also tells you to cut at the small intestine at the base of after the pyloric sphincter. So this is the pyloric sphincter where it enters the small intestine. So we want to cut below that right there. Okay, and this is just some connective tissue. So there's your stomach. That's where it goes in, turns all the food for a couple hours, and then it comes out into the small intestine here. Okay, it tells you to cut open the small the, the, the stomach. So we want to look at this is step eight. So we want to look at the small intestine. We're gonna cut longitudinally, so we're gonna cut this way. Okay, so we can see, uh, and I'm going to use scissors, but we so we can see uh, what's inside. This is called my myconium. Myconium is what is inside baby stomachs before they're born, and this is um, because they swallow. They practice swallowing. The um, so we're seeing all this fluid come out, the amniotic fluid that's in the uterus while they're in the mom's uterus. Okay. So I'm going to cut that open like that so we can see inside. So there's some green stuff. That's myconium. That's what the, ba the baby's first poop is going to always look kind of blackish. And you can see that it's it's got some rug A. This is called rug Okay, when we're looking at the stomach, once you've cut the stomach open, you can see on the inside the um, two sphincters that are where the esophagus connect to the stomach and where the small intestines begin at the stomach on the inside there. So on the inside we can see this is the cardiac sphincter this is where the esophagus comes into the stomach and this is the pyloric sphincters. This is where the small intestines pick, uh, take the food to the that's where the, be the small intestines begin. You see these um, Wrinkled spots, these are, this is what's called the rugae, and that is the stomach. So you can 